Houdat Nation, rise up because we are almost at 3,000 subscribers here on New Orleans Saints Now by Chat Sports. Producer Trace, diehard Saints fan. He's trying to grow this channel for you guys. So help us out, help him out. And if you want more Saints videos, we need more Saints subscribers to justify it. We are 36 subs away from the big 3K. So hit that sub button. Off-season rumors, news, it's heating up. We'll start with Sean Payton on today's show. Then we'll take a look at the Saints free agents this off-season. What's going on, Saints fans? Harrison Graham here from Chat Sports for the latest Saints news and rumors. And you guys see the note at bottom, Sean Payton, could he be leaving New Orleans? I think it's at least a tiny possibility. I'll give more thoughts on it. But Jane Slater of the NFL Network, who also does some work with us on our Cowboys Report YouTube channel, she knows Sean Payton pretty well. She had this to say with Tom Downey earlier today. Take a listen, and then we'll kind of talk about it more on the other side. Jerry's had a love affair with Sean for a long time. He's deferred to, to Sean at times about his thoughts uh, on this team. And there is a possibility that Sean could get out of his deal. But I think Sean is going to be highly coveted this offseason by teams like the Raiders, the Seahawks, the Bears, the Giants. Giants, of course, where he uh, started his career. So he's got a great relationship with them. It's a big market. And then there's a lot of talk about media. Does Amazon make a play for them as they're trying to build this dream team? So he's got a lot of options. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll see what happens with Sean. It's just, it, it's like, death and taxes. We talk <laughs> about there. Sean every time there's a question about this coaching search. Appreciate Jane for the fine work she does for us here at Chat Sports and over on the Cowboys Report. And obviously, look, the connections with Peyton and Dallas uh, have been there. A lot of people thought he should have gotten that job years ago. Obviously, took the Saints job 16 years ago to be exact here on Tuesday. If you're watching on Wednesday, 16 years and a day ago. This is interesting because Sean Peyton obviously <laughs> – the Saints would never fire him because he's a legend there. He won a Super Bowl, ton of playoff appearances. But New Orleans is in an interesting spot where there's some uncertainty at quarterback in the future. I thought Sean Payton, the job he did this year, was one of his best coaching jobs yet, leading this team to a 9-8 and record with virtually no quarterback, especially after Jameis Winston went down. I think it would take a lot for him to leave New Orleans, but – Jane mentioned the Raiders, Bears, Cowboys, Seahawks. Uh, uh, he could jump into media, the Giants, all teams that would have interest if he became available. So this is something to monitor. Again, I wouldn't guess it. I wouldn't predict it. But I at least think it's a greater than zero chance that he leaves New Orleans, which would obviously be a major blow to this franchise. So what do you guys think? Do you think Sean Payton stays with New Orleans? Type Y for yes. Type N for no. We'll make this the pinned comment on today's video. So scroll on down, get your votes in during this YouTube ad break. All right, we shift from the Sean Payton coaching rumors to free agency. So full list of free agents uh, for the Saints internal, guys. We'll have a video uh, in the future here on this channel of free agent targets uh, for New Orleans. But Trace kind of broke these guys down into categories here, kind of from important guys as unrestricted free agents here. We'll start with uh, Teron Armstead and some other folks here. Obviously, Armstead uh, is going to have a market. A lot of teams can use premier left tackles. Marcus Williams, a really good young safety. He's going to draw interest as well. Very fascinating to see what happens with Jameis Winston. Do you bring him back on another one-year deal? Uh, does he go elsewhere to try and start or be a backup? We'll see. P.J. Williams, Quan Alexander a couple of solid contributors as well that the Saints uh, who have some salary cap you know challenges but they've been able to kind of push that off for years we'll have to make some decisions on this offseason you take a closer look at Armstead who again is one of the uh, better um, uh, offensive linemen in the NFL uh, it's going to be tricky to keep him if we're being completely honest uh, because it's going to cost a lot of money I expect the Saints uh, to try and keep him but we'll see what happens there you look at Jameis Winston now uh, Jameis Winston was playing fairly well okay before he got injured a good TD to interception ratio obviously wasn't throwing for a ton of yards wasn't you know completing 70 percent of his passes or anything but do you want to go that route again it doesn't seem like a long-term solution but 
it's pretty well documented that this quarterback draft class isn't exactly stellar either. I'm sure a couple of those guys will emerge, but to expect one of those guys to come in as a rookie and play at a high level, we'll see. So the Saints certainly got to make a decision on Jameis as well. So which free agent should the New Orleans Saints re-sign in 2022? I want to hear from you guys down in the comments section. Who would you like to see New Orleans bring back next season? Take a look at some more guys here. Dwayne Washington uh, running back. You got Ty Montgomery as well. Jeff Heath. Uh, Trevor Simeon, which at times he, he played okay. Had that nice win over uh, Tampa earlier in the year. John Holmes, Traquan Smith, who's never really become that solid you know, high-level starting caliber receiver the Saints were hoping for, but could be a guy that you bring back. Obviously, we took talked about Jameis Winston. You talk a little bit more here about Trevor Simeon, who, again, good touchdown-to-interception ratio, but not exactly a high-level starting quarterback either. I do think he could be a guy that you could bring back as a backup. Say you have Simeon as your backup. You've got Taysom Hill as kind of your – you know, do it all, Swiss Army knife type that plays some quarterback. Uh, you keep Ian Book as a developmental guy, then maybe you go draft or sign a quarterback. Uh, maybe that's Jameis Winston. We'll have to wait and see. But I do think Simeon has some value, at least as a backup. He's a guy who started a decent amount of games in this league. If you could only re-sign one player, who's it going to be? And why is it going to be uh, Teron Armstead? Because let's be honest, that would be a major blow. Marcus Williams as well, but I think safety is more of a position where you can replace. Let me know. Who would you uh, sign if you could only bring one guy back? Uh, some restricted free agents, uh, Garrett Griffin, the tight end, Shai Tuttle, the defensive tackle, Carl Granderson. I'd like to bring Deontay Harris back. He had uh, some explosive plays this year. And then Ethan Greenridge as well, another offensive lineman as we break down uh, some more of these players as we go along here for some Saints free agents. You take a look at Deontay Harris. Had kind of a mini breakout this year, 570 yards on just 36 catches, so you like the average there. Had a long of 73, 72 as well. Not expected uh, to make a ton of money. Uh, that's the projected average annual value for a player of his status. So uh, we'll see what happens. Maybe he makes two, three million on the open market, but we'll have to wait and see. Shout out to BetUS for sponsoring today's episode of New Orleans Saints Now. And obviously, Houdat Nation still upset by missing the playoffs, but spice it up in the playoffs. Keep it fun by betting on some games. Here are the matchups this weekend. You got uh, uh, Tennessee, Cincinnati, Green Bay, San Francisco, Tampa, L.A., and then Kansas City and Buffalo. All these matchups, you see who the favorites are and what the over-unders are in this game. Uh, I like Cincinnati getting points, by the way. Uh, I think that's my lock of uh, the weekend. Go to chatsports.com slash bet. Use our promo code chat125 to get 125% deposit bonus. A couple of uh, ERFAs, exclusive right for agencies, which basically means you can uh, tender them, if you will, like if you want to match what a team offers, you can do that. Jawan Johnson, uh, y you know, we'll see if he's a guy that New Orleans wants to keep around 6'4", 230. You certainly like the size there as well. Jalen Dalton, another lineman uh, as well, did not play this year, so we'll see if New Orleans has any plans uh, for him, but a couple of ERFAs uh, for the Saints as well. Recapping the list of Saints free agents here on New Orleans Saints Now by Chat Sports. How about Teron Armstead, Marcus Williams, Jameis Winston, P.J. Williams, Quan Alexander. Some of your bigger names that the Saints will have to make decisions on. Obviously, uh, Armstead and Williams really uh, you know, stand out to me. And then Jameis Winston, a guy, do you bring him back? Do you let him go? We'll have to wait and see on that front. Some unrestricted free agents for New Orleans. Dwayne Washington and Ty Montgomery at the running back position. Safety, Jeff Heath. Another quarterback in Trevor Simeon, uh, Jalen Holmes, and then Traquan Smith, a player who has never quite reached his potential, but certainly a guy that I would consider bringing back. Some restricted free agents, Garrett Griffin, uh, the tight end, Shai Tuttle, the defensive tackle, Carl Granderson, the defensive end, Deontay Harris, a guy who really kind of broke out this year for the Saints offense, and then offensive lineman Ethan Greenridge as well. And then a couple of ERFAs, you got Jawan Johnson, uh, like his size, and he played a little bit this year, 6'4", 230. And then Jalen Dalton, another lineman who uh, did not play at all this season. So that is the list of Saints free agents uh, that uh, this front office will have to make decisions on this offseason. So we'll see uh, how much that ends up playing out 
on that front. Quick note on Sean Payton as well. We don't know if he will be a part of this team's future. Obviously, if he is, he will have a lot of say, I would imagine, on which free agents come and go. Some rumors out there. Jane Slater uh, reporting from the NFL Network and with us at Chat Sports that uh, it's possible that Payton could want out of New Orleans. And if he does, he will certainly garner a lot of interest. Uh, and that'd be a huge blow to New Orleans uh, at the end of the day. So with all of that in mind, uh, you know, a lot of thoughts to consider. I want to know from you guys, how long have you been a Saints, Saints fan? My producer, Trey, since birth. So that's, uh, that's a long time. I'm not going to reveal how old he is. He's like, you know, he's very old. But uh, let us know how long have you guys been a Saints fan. And we'll see you guys soon here on Saints Now by Chat Sports.